<laughs> I really hope you put that in the edit. What's up, YouTube? I'm Greg Murray, and today I'm gonna get a haircut with my friend Stuki at Chaz Dean Studio. Stuki's been cutting my hair for just about five years now, ever since I moved to Los Angeles, California. He's an absolutely incredible guy, and I don't know about you, but in quarantine life, trying to keep a tight haircut has been really challenging for me. Um, just because there's nowhere I can really get a cut and I'm not great at buzzing it myself. Believe me, I tried, it was really bad. So anyway, Stuki's gonna keep it fresh today. Um, because of COVID, we're gonna put on our mask to go in. Stay safe out there, you youngins. I've got my good friend, Leo, behind the camera. So um, let's get this mask on and let's get going. Come on. Stuki. Hello, Greg. How are you? Doing great. How good. are you, bro? Great, man. Thanks awesome. for asking. Ready to get cut? Yes, sir. Right. What do you feel like doing today? Uh, I just think trimming up the sides is getting a little pushy for me, you know? Okay. Um, quarantine life. Yeah. Right. Maybe something pretty tight on the side, and then as far as the top, just something a little, I guess, shorter, and maybe a little texture just to make it a little messy. Okay. Sounds good. We can do that, bro. Stuki, what's your favorite place to eat, man? It's a tough one in LA. It's like top three or something. I know my Michelle and I really like Dentai Fung. Um, when we started dating, um, she took me out to try dumplings, and I'd never had dumplings before, and Dentai Fung kind of spoiled me. Um, what was the name of the place? Dentai Fung. Okay, so is it good dumplings? Not the frozen kind? Yeah, it's good. Okay. They're like fresh, they make them there. You can even see through a window where they awesome. make them. I think it's at the Americana in Glendale. Okay. Um, but they actually have. They have a Michelin star. So for my first time to try dumplings, kind of set the bar up here. Uh, and if you don't, people on YouTube, if you don't know what a Michelin star is, you can look it up on Google. <laughs> but it's like a crazy, awesome award that you can get at a restaurant. Um, I think you can get up to three. Is that right? Does anybody? Right. Yeah. There, yeah. There's this place uh, down off of Melrose called Gracias Madre. Oh yeah. And I've it's heard of it. pure vegan. Okay. And I'm not a vegan by any stretch of the word however yeah. everything on the menu is amazing and the space is like very elegant but at the same time super casual okay um so you don't have to feel you know like you have to get dressed up or anything to go there you picked up any other like hobbies or workout thing i've just been doing a lot of writing okay for my uh, website yeah my journey in the hair industry okay like what are you writing about like what's something well, on your mind recently. I'm, I'm always asked how I got into hair yeah. and it's just following like what it was like going into hair school yeah. like all the challenges I had um, because I was never one of those people that had always wanted to do hair their whole life so yeah. it didn't come natural to me like it did okay. everybody else that was there I was yeah. like I didn't get into the game until like I was 38 yeah so it was definitely a new skill that I had to not only learn but Try to figure out how to excel at. Yeah. And with hair, it's it's always evolving. It's always changing. Each person's different. Um, what might work for you will not work for somebody else. You okay. know. Yeah. So it was just trying to figure out all those nuances and learning to be comfortable with failing all the time. Okay. And with you know not being happy with the way someone looked when they left, um, and then going back and and trying to figure out how I can improve, but it, it was like a steep learning curve and yeah. it's definitely one of the most challenging things ever in my life. Bro, um, but you it's, you know, the more challenging, the more fulfilling when you, when it, when it all clicks too, you know? Yeah. I mean, just looking at somebody cutting hair makes me intimidated. Like I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't even <laughs> want to try it. Like not even on myself. Uh, do you feel like there's like a deeper purpose or thing that you appreciate about it or you just really enjoy the process? I mean, what I enjoy the most is connecting with my clients. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, just as much as clients are picky about who cuts their hair, yeah. for me, I'm picky about who's going to be sitting in my chair. Like, wow. I want to be able to connect with them, like, not just to where I understand what it is that they're looking for, yeah. but also, like, to where they become somebody that I look forward to seeing, not because they're paying me money, yeah. uh, but because we're able to have, like, a good conversation and I'm able to like walk away every time from having a conversation with them and like learning something either yeah. about the world or about myself or something about them. And so it's just, I really look for people that I can have as friends. Yeah, that's such a big deal. I feel like the, 
like relational aspect and a, a hair cutting such a, a thing because you're going to spend 45 minutes with this person. Do you have any like extreme funny stories? <laughs> uh, I mean, that happened a lot when I was in hair school. Uh, really? Yeah, and then the first salon I was working at, the very first client I took, she was not a happy person in general, I think. Okay. And uh, earlier that week, she'd gotten hit by a car. Ooh. She was walking across a crosswalk. That's not fun. Uh, so she was still just like very hateful towards the world. Yeah. Anyway, she didn't like um, she didn't like my blow dry that I did on her, and yeah. uh, she went on Yelp and just blasted me. Uh, and bro. Then I was told like uh, by the salon manager like. Okay, you're not doing haircuts anymore for a while. Like, wow. and it was like my first client too. So that's rough. That was, but I mean, how did you how did you deal with that? I mean, you just you just keep going forward. I'm sure that wasn't easy. <laughs> that would be hard. That's, no, I mean it wasn't easy, but <laughs> by that time I was kind of so used to failing, um, and just so used to like hearing people be upset, like because you can't make everybody happy. Yeah. That you just kind of like shrug it off and you know. Keep plowing ahead. And now you're here. Yeah. <laughs> okay with the cut then, Greg? Yeah, I think it's great. Okay, think okay it's cool, great. man. I make sure to put a lot of texture in up here so they'll have some definition cool. and some separation in it so it won't just look like a block. I <laughs> <laughs> do. I love it, man. It looks good. It looks really good. Yeah. Good. And you got a commercial coming up? Yeah, I've got a commercial shoot coming up, and so this will be perfect for that. Awesome. Awesome. Glad to have you in my chair as always. Thanks, bro. All right, guys. So the haircut is done. I think it looks super fresh. Looks great. Take a second. I'm going to plug Stuki's Instagram handle down below. Show him some love. He did an incredible job. Um, also, click like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. We love you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. I think the haircut looks good. You did a great job. <laughs> Motorcycle. Motorcycle. <laughs> Helicopter. Helicopter. Helicopter, yeah. Helicopter. Yeah. <laughs>